Do you ever feel like you are a prisoner of your own videos? You spend hours picking transitions, timing, music, creating effects, doing color grading, but the views are still not there. And yes, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. It's the long editing that kills your videos. And today I will tell you how this happens and what to do. Most novice editors use roughly the same logic. The more time I spend on editing, the cooler they will be and the more views they will get. And I'll Although this logic partially works, in most cases it leads to videos not really taken off. Spending dozens of hours on editing doesn't necessarily make your videos better, especially in the long run. First and foremost, remember about the human factor. Long editing obviously takes up a large part of your life, time that you could have spent on friends, family, hobbies, time that's always in short supply, especially when it comes to releasing videos regularly. To release videos on a regular basis, you need to spend a lot of time and do it consistently. But as you understand, making videos isn't just about editing, it's about the script, recording A rolls, B rolls, coming up with titles and thumbnails. And only after all this comes editing. How can you approach all these stages creatively and effectively if you are completely burnt out after editing the previous video. Sure, you might say something like, I'm strong and I can handle it. All I need to do is kick off the channel and then everything will go smoothly. I will hire a team and relax. Undoubtedly, there are cases when some have managed to do this, on their own. But in most cases, creating your own channel is a tremendous effort, demanding all your time and all of yourself. When I started my channel, I spent at least 40 hours a week just making videos, even though I had full-time studies. And you know what? When I started spending less time on editing, the channel began to grow faster. I had more time to come up with various new ideas, and since the editing took less time, I managed to accomplish much more than before. Apart from simply having more time time to create different videos by spending less time in editing, you will save yourself from burnout, specifically editing burnout. Because editing, despite being a creative process, is quite monotonous in its nature. You have to watch the same thing over and over again, frame by frame, adjust animations, transitions, work with sound. After five hours of hearing the same words in your headphones, you feel like doing nothing. Every transition animation seems meaningless and faith in success disappears. Sure, this may not happen right away. Initially, you might have a lot of energy and strength to spend dozens of hours editing one video time after time, but the more you get into the routine, the harder it will be to find the strength for it. Opening the editing program will be accompanied by a heavy sigh and a complete reluctance to do anything. This is where many people abandon their channels. To avoid this, you need to reduce the time you spend on editing. This can be done in several ways. The first method is simply to simplify the editing itself. There is a great chance that your current editing is too complex. It's probably much more complicated than what's needed for your videos, especially considering your skills. So I would recommend lowering your ambitions. Try to worry less about about timings, animations, transitions, and color grading. Spend that time on a few additional attempts at recording your voice. Spend that time learning to speak better and present content with more energy. Spend that time coming up with cooler and more unusual ideas. Because with a cool idea and quality presentation, simple editing becomes unnoticeable. We've probably all seen tons of exciting videos where the only editing was basic cuts and simple transitions. Editing is undoubtedly crucial, but it should never become the main selling point of your videos, the only reason to watch them. Another reason why you should reduce editing time is to meet your own expectations, because while you're sitting and editing, your expectations grow. The more time you spend on editing, the higher your expectations. It's a simple psychological trap that absolutely everyone falls into. That's how our brain works. We expect compensation equivalent to our efforts. Therefore, people who spend five hours in editing expect less from the video than people who spend 55 hours. If you constantly expect huge views and then don't get them time after time, it's very easy to quit, feeling the futility of spending your time on it. But how can you make your editing faster? 
first, choose a more user-friendly Edison program. In one of my recent videos, I already talked about the fact that the sophistication of your Edison program doesn't correlate with the quality of the final videos. A real professional will create a cool video even in Windows Movie Maker, and an absolute beginner will get the same result in a professional program as in an entry-level one. That's why I advise everyone to start their journey in the world of editing with Movavi's video editor, which is a part of the large package Movavi Unlimited. It combines all the best from Movavi in one accessible and intuitive platform. Video editing, photo editing, screen recording, file conversion, nine programs and a year of unlimited access to the effects store for the price of one application. Preparing source files, designing entire videos, retouching photos, everything can be done in just a few clicks. Unlike professional counterparts, Movavi Unlimited will work well on an average computer. And now get ready to have your mind blown, folks. An 80% discount on all the apps in an amazing Movavi Unlimited plan. It's a deal that's too good to pass up. If you feel like focusing on video and photo editing, only just to give Movavi Video Suite and Photo Editor a shot. Its price is 35% lower than Movavi Unlimited, but the creative potential is almost the same, so don't miss out on these offers and choose your fighter in the description. In addition to choosing simpler and more friendly Edison programs, you should also use the smart features of these programs. But let me explain. How do you work with sound? I've said many times that sound is one of the key aspects of editing that directly affects the popularity of a video and it needs a special attention. Do you leave everything as it is or painstakingly adjust each parameter by hand? How much time do you spend on noise removal? I won't play a guessing game, but it seems you understand what answers I expect to get. To make the process of working with sound faster, you should do a few things. First, use smart noise removal whenever possible. AI will carefully adjust all the necessary parameters and separate the voice from the noise. Even the so-so sound can become almost studio-like this way. And all this takes a couple of seconds and a few clicks. If that's not enough, you can improve the sound using a built-in equalizer with a voice preset in just a couple of minutes. You can turn bad sound into excellent sound. And what about the editing itself? You probably spend hours trying to find the timings for transitions so they are in sync with the music. Synchronizing music and transitions is a great technique, but it often is super labor-intensive. But if you use smart beat detection, then several hours can turn into 30 seconds. The program will find the beats all by itself and mark them on the timeline. You'll just have to place the clips on the timeline. This approach is so much easier and, of course, animations. Where would we be without them? Text animations and moving objects on the screen all take precious time to make, especially if you do this in a professional program. It will be much more productive to use a built-in set of already animated text and effects. By simply dragging them onto the timeline, you can save yourself from the nerve-wracking process of creating everything by hand. I've already provided so many reasons to spend less time in editing, but the question of health always seems to slip away. And health suffers the most. Long editing is not just wasted time, it's hours of staring at the screen. To make every aspect of your editing perfect, you must really focus, which strains your eyes a lot. They start to hurt, become red and dry out. Who needs that? Make editing simpler, faster and don't torture your eyes. Moreover, remember the simple rule. The simpler, the better. The simplicity of editing can truly frame the idea of the video, properly show it as something really interesting. Try to keep everything in balance. If the video's idea is very boring, there are only two ways to combat this. An interesting narration, and dynamic, complex editing. I would advise against boring topics, but if the topic is already interesting and the presentation is at least passable, there is no sense in spending a lot of time in complex, lengthy editing. It will simply go unnoticed. So as you can see, long editing leads to no good in most cases. Long editing kills your creativity, harms your health and damages your channel. Aim for a balance between the topic and the complexity of the editing. And remember, you can make great videos only when the entire process of creating one makes you happy. Thank you for watching, guys. Subscribe, hit the like button, and see you in the next one.